top story tonight. Park Rose High School students are celebrating their prom at a night that could have turned out very differently. Students were allowed back to campus today to gather some of their belongings. All this coming one day after police say Angel Granados Diaz, a student there, brought a gun into school, causing a lockdown. He was taken into custody. He's currently being held in the Multnomah County Jail on charges of reckless endangerment and possession of a loaded gun. But his classmates say they're determined to move forward and not let fear control their last few school days. Gwen Six's Jennifer Dowling is live on the waterfront tonight. She talked with Park Rose students as they gathered there for their prom. Jen? Yeah, that's right. They got on the Portland Spirit and took off at around 7 o'clock. They said although they were uh, having a, filled, a day filled with stress and trauma on Friday, tonight they were looking forward to the future and making this a positive prom night to remember. I've never gone to prom and I've never been on a boat, so this is really exciting. Rebecca Benitez and her fellow students from Park Rose took pictures in front of the fountain and boarded the Portland Spirit, grateful that they were able to make this milestone. It really allows for us to come together as a community, like after such a like traumatic and shocking event. You know? I thought that it was going to be canceled, um, but I think um, we kind of need it. Because it was so stressful. Was like the students under immense stress Friday after classmate Angel Granados Diaz walked into school with a gun, sending students scrambling, fearful for their lives. Me and my classroom, you know, we started locking the doors. We sat down on the floor near the walls, you know, away from the windows. Everyone got under the tables. We, we just all got down and cut off the lights. And yeah, we were just trying to stay quiet as possible. Cherie Lewis says administrators did consider canceling. No, we didn't want to, but we thought about it. But she says they had a change of heart after thinking of what this means for the kids. And yesterday was a bump in the road, but Park Rose is a family all in all. That's important for us. The teens at tonight's event also talked about Coach Keenan Lowe and how this night might have been one of mourning if he hadn't tackled 18-year-old Angel. And I'm glad he did because... He could have killed somebody if he didn't. Yeah, it's been crazy. I'm, I'm just thankful for Coach Lowe. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know, like, what would have happened if we would even be, like, be able to celebrate today if it wasn't for him. Students tell me it's only nine days until graduation. They plan to make some happy memories tonight that they can hold on to. Like being able to see students who maybe wouldn't have been here if things had, you know, gone in a different direction. So I think it's a really positive thing, you know, that we're having prom today. And I really hope everyone has fun. Everybody's going to come together and create a positive vibe after what happened yesterday. And it just shows that life still goes on even when things like this happen. Yeah. So I'm grateful for that. And some of the students that were attending prom tonight told us that they knew Angel and he was quiet, but they never suspected that he was some sort of threat. He'll be back in court again Monday. Back to you, Emily. All right, Jennifer, thank you. And for